ladies and gentlemen, from all my children, Susan Lucci. Sophisticated this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm out of practice with that. You sounded great. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> so nice to have you back. We met you the one time with a ah, what a peak moment in our careers. Then we got to meet you again on our show. It's like, well, that's wow. not going to happen again. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're over it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> she likes us. <laughs> she really likes us. <laughs> <laughs> one funny thing last night, I was just trying to go to sleep and I was. Uh, flipping channels and then there's that show on another network that's on where people are stranded on an island and they try and win a million dollars and uh, there's I guess there's one guy that that has been uh, when they go to this tribal council that they've been trying to get off for a while and, and his name comes up a lot they said his they said he's the Susan Lucci of this game because his name keeps coming up but he doesn't get the vote so oh, to be voted off right well yeah in an opposite way so funny that we knew we were going to have you on the show today and there you are on another network on another show and they and they you're, and they use you're my name as a term yeah. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also saw you last night on the replay and i was i wanted to ask you a technical question there was a scene where you're looking through the glass at the baby and you're having an internal thought that we get to hear but you're just looking at the baby and you're just mm -hmm. do you hear that that your voice going on so you can time that out right or when there's a scene where you're talking to yourself but we get privy to what you're saying to yourself or well I, I had just recorded it okay I had just recorded it and then and then I went to the window okay and sometimes they can play it back during the um, actually shooting of the scene and sometimes they play it back just before so you you get a sense of it oh the time but I had just recorded it okay. so I was very you know in the moment it was very helpful the way we did that okay, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, in fact, most times when you see people dancing on All My Children, there is no music playing. Oh! And that is, that is the hardest thing, because sometimes they haven't even decided what music they're going oh. to use. So we will ask, could we just hear just a couple of bars of something similar that you think you might use? Yeah. So you know, don't look like total fools. Wow, that's <laughs> tough! That is very tough. Or you rehearse with a choreographer, you know, in your lunch hour, and you and it's so much fun, and I love to do it. But then sometimes you go on the floor to do the dance, and they have you suddenly dancing on a carpet. Oh. And that's a very unusual experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're usually in heels, and they're usually yeah. in heels on a on a dance floor. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. anytime you've ever been to a party and they don't, they, they well, we didn't get a dance floor, but you can dance on the carpet. It's like, well, I don't want to dance on carpet. It's, it's, it's funny. It's different. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it is different, yeah. It's all different. Uh, you were on The View recently in that lovely little trench coat. Oh, that, thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Yeah, your clothes are just beautiful, and this must be something that you just love to do. I do. I love to do it. It's a whole other area of, of um, being creative, and I... I do love clothes, which is not a secret. <laughs> I love all the jewelry. I love all of it. And it was so much fun to have um, have the beautiful actresses I work with, you know, to come on with me, Bobby and Chris Shell and Patina, come on with me and do it. It was so much fun to have them there. It was my husband's idea for me to wear the gold trench coat uh, and flash the lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny how you probably get at this point a little more jazz when somebody recognizes your clothing, as opposed, and not that you take all my children for granted yeah, no, at no. all, but you, you just when somebody notices something else that you're venturing into, it's like that is so exciting, you know? It is exciting. It's very exciting to have people. Uh, I mean, the trench coat then was mostly gone because of the appearance on the View, and the rest sold out in about a minute and a half. Wow! When I got to HSN. Uh, so to have that response, to know that you're on the right track, that yeah. really that what you you like, what you think is going to look beautiful on women, that they like it too, and to hear the response that people tell me that they love it better when they get it home, that the quality is good, that makes me very very happy. And I wear I wear my things. I don't at this. This is an unusual thing for me. I usually have something on uh -huh. from my collection. Just this morning, I don't, but. I, I do often to appearances. I was on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. <laughs> I made a little appearance there, uh, and I wore something from uh, my collection. How it's, much do you travel? Do you travel quite a bit? Quite a bit, yes. Quite a bit. Uh, whether it's, you know, I met all my children, and I'll work in the studio, go to the airport, hop on a plane, go wherever I'm going to do some work for a day or so, hop on a plane, come back, go from the airport back to the All My Children studio. Wow. 
or or I'll travel on the weekends with Regis. We were in Atlantic City a few weekends ago. Oh. Uh, at Bally's and uh, had a wonderful time there. And then we hopped a plane Sunday morning and went to uh, to North Carolina to Raleigh, and uh, and did another concert at um, their Performing Arts Center there, which is also a beautiful facility. So I mean, it's all good and it's all fun. But yes, there's a lot yeah. of travel. Oh, wow. <laughs> has there ever been an occasion? I mean, Erica Kane has gone through so many different things. Has there ever been anything that happened to you as Erica that came up in your real life as Susan? Well, fighting a grizzly bear often. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't exactly where I was going. But, but you know how to do it if it should ever if come it should up. Ever come up? Yeah. I'm prepared. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes life does mirror art. You know, it's sometimes it, it, it's like, wow, that's that's kind of weird that that would just happen. Or you get a call from a friend that goes through something that's going through. You know, somebody on the show is going through. It's like that's mm -hmm. so strange that that's going through at the same mm -hmm. time. Well, I mean, yes, over the course of time there have been a couple of things. I mean, one thing, and this was very eerie, but I'm not surprised because Agnes Nixon actually came up with this storyline. It's a little while ago. Do you remember when Erica had to have plastic surgery? She had been disfigured uh -huh. in an accident. Yeah. And um, Agnes didn't know it, but I had gone through a windshield when I was 19. And... Uh, they thought that I would be disfigured, and uh -huh. I was—I had to miss um, most of a semester of college, and I—I I mean, I was bandaged and very swollen, and it was a very—you know—it was a hard time. And at the same time, I—I I was not worried. I don't know why. I thought I would be fine. I know my my parents were worried, my teachers were worried. Yeah, probably I a situation really scary. where where you're calming everybody else around you. I was. You now. Yeah. I was. I don't know whether you know we go into shock or whether you just get a feeling. Mm -hmm. But I—I I thought I would be fine. But um, I was four and a half hours on the emergency operating table while they took glass out of the wow. right above my eye. Oh. And they thought, you know, that I could be, de I mean, I looked really, I had a broken nose, I had new works, and they, they thought that I would be uh, probably, you know, disfigured mm -hmm. and scarred and stuff like that. But it worked out okay. I was yeah, you're very not. Very fortunate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we're here to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great to have you back in Orlando for Super Soap Weekend, and I know you're going to dash off to a breakfast here pretty yes, soon with, with yes. some of your best fans, and uh, then it's off to, to meet and greet uh, for Super Soap Weekend. Exactly. I look forward to it. Such a fun way to start it out, seeing yeah. you. Yeah. Nice it's such you a back. good time. Yeah, we appreciate you taking the time for Thank us. You. She's Erica Kane on All My Children. She's Susan Lucci. Back on our show again. Thank you so much. We've done something right in our lives. <laughs> 7.59, the stars just keep on coming for Super Soap Weekend right here on Mix 105.1.